Hey everybody, welcome to a Cricut Craft Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make printed cupcake toppers. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon, that will alert you to when I post a new video. These are super cute and you can personalize any event with these easy to do printed cupcake toppers. Let's get over to Design Space and I'll show you guys how to do them. To do these adorable cake toppers, all you need to do is just go to Google, and all I did was search LOL dolls. And there's lots of different um, pictures, but I liked these ones here at the top row. So we'll just pick one of them for now to do the LOL doll one. So what we're going to do is select this picture. You're going to right click on it and save image as, and I'll just save her as LOL doll in my Cricut folder. That way I can find her easily. And what we're going to do then, we're going to do two of these. So I'm going to do, uh, we're going to actually do maybe a couple of them. So let's do unicorn cartoon. And what we do is we just find a unicorn that we like. Remember to always check, make sure that whatever you're choosing is something that you can use. Um, if you're not selling, if it's just for your kid's birthday party, just make sure that you're using something without like a watermark. This has a watermark on it. Um, this one's really, really cute. I like him. Let's just use this little guy. So we'll save this image as, and I'm just going to save it as unicorn topper, just because I have a bunch of unicorns saved. And then let's do um, something. Let's do Spider-Man cartoon. We'll do a Spider-Man one for boys, because we can do boys ones too. There's lots of options. So what we want to do when we're doing these is make sure that you're looking for one that has a clean background. It's going to be a lot easier to do, and this guy is so cute. So let's totally use him. I love him. So we're going to use this little cutie, and we're going to call him Spider-Man. So we can get rid of Google. We don't need that. You can Google pretty much any design that you want to do and do it that way. It's really, really easy. So go to your Upload, and you're going to click Upload Image, and you're going to Browse. And I always put mine in my Cricut folder. It just makes life a lot easier for me. I keep everything relatively organized. So we'll start with the LOL doll because she's first in line here as far as alphabet. So LOL doll. Now, because she's going to be a print and cut, I'm going to save her as complex because I want to have that nice, clean um, look. So we're just going to remove the background. The reason we are removing the background is because we want it to cut around her. We don't want a big square. So even when you're doing print and cut, you want to make sure that you are cutting around her. Now, I did notice, and let me zoom in so you guys can see, she had a kind of a shadow. So we need to get rid of these little shadow pieces or it's going to cut them and it's going to be a pain. So just use your little eraser tool, which is this little guy, and just come through and clean up all these little edges because if you don't, you're going to end up with some funky cuts and we don't want that. So just go through and clean up all the edges. And I'm going to show you guys a real quick little trick so I can see a bunch down here. You can actually put this on preview like if you were going to actually cut it on um, vinyl. And nine times out of ten, it'll bring up the lines. I don't know why it's being so slow. Um, Design Space has its moments. Apparently, it's not going to do it. But normally, if you would bring that up, what it would do is show you all these little extra gray areas that are not attached to her. Um, I'm going to leave a little space between her legs right here. See how there's some white? We always say, oh, clean up all the white, clean up all the white. You don't need to do that when you do a print and cut. We just need the white around the outside. If you clean up the white that's between her legs there, you're going to end up with an awkward cut there as well. So let's just look around. I think I missed a little bit over on the side of her head. Just be careful not to like cut off her head or anything like that. So click continue. And we're going to save the right side. We're going to save as a print then cut image. Now clearly design space is being super duper slow right now. This has always been an issue um, with design space. It's not my favorite thing, especially when doing a print and cut. So just so you guys know, I probably won't show you the loading of this one because apparently it's going to go very slow. But when it does this, just let it sit. We're gonna make sure we select this one right here on this left side and we'll click save. Once it does that, we'll come back. I finally got the LOL doll to save. So we're gonna go ahead and do Spider-Man and the unicorn. So let's find Spider-Man. And he's down here somewhere in the S's. So we'll go ahead and it's just going to be the exact same thing. Complex, click continue, get rid of the background. Now he's got a cool outline around him already, so we'll just leave that because it looks fine. 
and we'll just click save remember save as a print and cut on these ones it does take slightly longer but you can see here's our lol doll here's our spider-man the last one we're going to do is that silly little unicorn so we'll go ahead and just scroll down and find the unicorn and she's down here in the use there's the unicorn so again complex click continue we're going to get rid of the gray here and it's up to you if you want to get rid of this gray or if you'd like to leave it. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Click continue. Over here, we're going to save this one. Again, save as a print and cut. So we need to insert all three images. So we're going to select each one. And you can do that by clicking on one and holding control. And then just insert the images. And it's going to take just a second to insert them all. Oops. And she's kind of big, so we'll size her down real fast just because she's a little bit large. So for a cupcake topper, you don't need anything too large. And I see here on this unicorn that I missed a spot. And I'll see if I can scoot these guys over a little bit. And let me change the camera. Okay, so see this little line here that we missed? We don't have to go back and re-upload it. We can just slice it out by taking a shape. We'll just use a square. And we're going to make this really skinny, just enough to cover this line. You're going to select your square and your unicorn and just click slice. And you're going to end up with a couple pieces up here at the top. And you just get rid of all of those. And that just gets rid of that line that we missed. So we're better now. So for our size on these, cupcakes are, I would say, about three inches wide. So you don't want to go to anything too big. So I would say don't go any larger than maybe two inches. And I'm going to make him just a little bit smaller because he's kind of tall. And same with her. She's pretty tall, so we'll keep her pretty skinny. And then Spider-Man here, he's a little fatter. He's more square-shaped. So we'll make him oh, right about there. Now with these guys, we want them two-sided. So rather than just printing two, they won't line up. You need to make two of them and flip them. So we're going to duplicate each of our designs. We'll go ahead and click duplicate on each one. And you're going to take one of your designs, go up here to flip, and you're going to flip it horizontally so that when we glue them together, they will line up. So we'll do that to each of our designs. You're going to flip and flip horizontal, and then flip, flip horizontal. So now when we go to print them, you'll notice that it will flip them and you will have a mirrored image. We do that so that when we glue them together, you have a nice finished side on both sides. You don't have to do this. This for me is just a personal preference. So you'll see here, you're gonna. this is going to show you everything that will print on your paper you're going to have this black square around it. That's how your Cricut knows where to cut. Those are called registration marks. Click continue, and you're going to click send to printer. So we'll click that. And I'm going to leave my bleed on, and that makes it so that you don't have any white goop, like spacing around your pictures, unless it's like Spider-Man. He's going to have it, but that's okay. Make sure you choose which printer you want to send it to, and i got to go turn my printer on. And I'll show you guys it printing. I'm just using some 65 pound cardstock. This will hold up nicely when we go to um, glue them together. It'll be nice and heavy with two of them together. So we're just gonna let that print out. Should only take just a moment. A lot of people ask me what kind of printer I have. It is a Canon Pixma MG 3022. The ink for it's pretty inexpensive. Um, it prints relatively quickly. It's not too bad um, as far as um, it, you know, it's, it's quickness. The, it, it takes a lot of different kinds of papers. So far I have yet to find anything that is jammed in it. Knock on wood. I've used the Cricut sticker vinyl stuff. I've used Avery sticker paper, water slide, all sorts of things. So I have yet to have any complaints about this. So um, I highly recommend this. I got it for $50 Black Friday, somewhere around that price. I don't know exactly. I cannot recall. But as you can see, it's printing out our little um, cake toppers. 
And like I said, this goes pretty quickly. It's super easy to do, and you can usually fit quite a few cake toppers on one sheet of paper. So now that it has printed on our cardstock, we're gonna go over to the uh, machine and we're gonna get a cut. We're ready to cut with the machine. I just loaded it onto a blue mat and I have selected light cardstock. Now I may need to turn off the overhead light, but we'll see what happens. I do have an overhead filming light on so that I have more light in here when I film for you guys, but occasionally it might be too much light for um, the sensor marks, but we'll see what happens. I will tell you, if you are having issues with your Cricut reading your sensor marks, lighting can be an issue, as well as if you are using an Explore series, you can only print on white paper. You can't do it on any other colored paper. There are tricks to get around that. Um, I have yet to do a video on those, but I probably should for you guys. Um, but with the Maker, you can do all kinds of colored paper. Clearly, the overhead light for this was not an issue, but sometimes it can be. So it's going to go ahead and cut out our uh, little designs here. And it's probably going to take a couple of minutes because it's going to need to cut around all of our designs. So let's let this cut and when we come back, I'll show you guys how we can assemble them. I wanted to show you guys how to take these off of your mat without bending them too much. All I do is I flip my mat over, I pull off the excess and I get that to the side, and then you'll see that my mat isn't super sticky, but what I do is I roll my mat. So I put my mat face down, do make sure you have a clean surface, and then you just peel them off just like this. Pretty easy to do, don't fold your mat and don't roll it too tight, because the mats can crack. But you do just roll it until you can get an edge, and then you see that they came off super nice and flat. So it's really easy to do, and then you'll see that when we go to assemble them that we'll have a double-sided item. So let's get um, the glue and we can get our sticks and ready to assemble. We're ready to glue everything together, so all you need are your cardstock pieces, and then I have these little candy sticks. I got them from, I think, Joanne Fabrics. But what I do is I will take one side, and we'll just start with the unicorn, and I'll take just a little bit of hot milk glue and I just dab it right like in a tip of his ear and I don't use very much I just use the teeniest tiniest amount and then I spread it with the tip of the hot milk glue gun and I'll only do just the top of the unicorn I won't do any more than that right now and then I take him and I line it up and I'll just do it real quickly here and you just line it up so that all your sides are matching and what you've basically done is just attach him so that he's like a little pocket down here at the bottom and that's when we put our candy stick in. And I don't attach the whole piece yet because I want to put my candy stick in and then I'll attach it. So what I do is I just open up my unicorn and I take a little bit of glue. And again, a little dab will do. It doesn't take much. And I just spread it in here and around on his foot and then over here. And then I'll stick my candy stick down. And I try to get that centered. And then all you do is take the rest of your unicorn and just place him together. And there is your little unicorn. And he's the same on both sides, so no matter which way you look at him, he's perfect. And then you have a little candy stick to put it in the um, cupcake. So we'll do that to all of these. So again, little piece of glue, not much. I just glue the very top. I don't do more than the top. I always pick it up off of the table to line mine up. I just find that easier for me because I'll line it up where there's actually no glue and then I'll move it around a little bit if I need to once I get the glue on. So we'll put Spider-Man in. Again, you just separate him. You want to let the glue on the top dry just a little bit. You don't have to let it dry a ton, but just for a moment or two. That way you can, um, you'll have a little bit of a hold once you go to put your candy stick in. So shove my candy stick in. And then I just take my Spider-Man, and I might need to add a little bit of glue on this side. It dried kind of quick over there, so you can add just a little dab of glue if you need to. Spread it around and stick it together. And then get all the little glue spider webbies off of there. Appropriate as it's Spider-Man. And there's your Spider-Man. And then we'll do the LOL doll. Now she's going to be a little bit skinny, so... Her, I'm just going to glue her little bun together. I'm not going to do any more than just her tiny little bun right now. So again, I pick it up off the table. I line it up. I line it up.
apply it a best it can anyways and then press it together and we'll let that dry for just a second like I said she is gonna be a little bit thin because of her feet so her feet will probably be separated by the candy stick which is fine no big deal so with her I want to make sure that I get just a little bit of glue on her arms and up her torso so we'll stick the candy stick in and then we'll stick her down and we may need to add a little bit of glue to the other side of her feet um, like I said she's pretty skinny at the feet so if her feet aren't wanting to stay on the candy stick for some reason we may need to add glue but she's actually holding pretty well so just keep in mind if it's a little thin of an item like this little lol doll you may need to kind of play with the glue a little and I can see like her one arm I could glue it a little more so I'm just gonna glue her arm together and there we go these guys are all finished so let's get them into the cupcakes and we'll be all set here are our finished cupcake toppers. These are so cute. Look at how cute the LOL doll, Spider-Man, and the unicorn. And I love that they are the same front and back. That way, no matter which way you display your cupcakes, you show the same design. These are really easy to do and super fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning how to make printed cupcake toppers. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon. That'll alert you when I post a new video. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.